Welcome. Really delighted that you've joined us at Think 2021. And I'm here with uh, the panel. I'm really excited that you've joined our session. It's uh, Deploy AI Models to the Edge Devices to Protect Workers. And uh, I think I'm safe, Glenn, and, and uh, you guys, do you think I'm safe? Can I take this off now? You look very safe, yeah. All right, good. Well, welcome everyone. And I'm gonna moderate our discussion today. I'm really happy that uh, I've got a great panel with me and I wanted to introduce them first. Um, and then I'll introduce myself last. Um, so first I wanted to, to let uh, Glenn Darling introduce himself. Go ahead, Glenn. Okay, uh, well, I've been doing software development for a very long time, over 40 years. Um, I was part of the original development team for uh, Open Horizon and IBM Edge Application Manager, which is our commercial distribution of Open Horizon. Uh, our original design was completely decentralized and it used only peer-to-peer -peer technologies. So we had uh, the Ethereum blockchain, for example, and BitTorrent uh, for file transfers and uh, Whisper for communication between the components. And we later added the management hub that you see today uh, in order to uh, scale more efficiently. Um, I Greg, wanted to thank mention- Thank you, Greg. Well, uh, th thank you, Glenn. I wanted to just do quick introductions and I will get into yeah. the agenda. Uh, so uh, Surat Prasad, thanks for joining. Tell us about yourself. Hey, th thanks, uh, John. Uh, so I'm Sharad Prasad. I'm a data scientist and IT specialist. Uh, I'm part of IBM's uh, telco and media entertainment labs uh, based in uh, Dallas, Texas. I've been working at IBM for about uh, four years um, and the past two years has been uh, focused on uh, edge computing. Great, and uh, my name is John Walty. I'm an IBM developer advocate. My expertise is in IoT and edge, but I do quite a bit with AI and, and cloud native uh, uh, techniques. I'm really delighted. I've been a IBM developer advocate for about five years, so this is not my first think, uh, my first virtual think, although last year I think I shared the stage with uh, Willie Tahada, our chief developer advocate. We are, um, going to spend the next hour, hour and a half talking about IBM Edge Application Manager and how we can train models, one, to protect workers, but then also show you how you can containerize workloads and manage at scale um, all of your Edge devices. So I've got my Raspberry Pi cluster and Jetson Nanos, and I'm sure Glenn has similar stacks of stuff uh, behind them, I see. So, uh, the, uh, the agenda for today, we're going to uh, split this into uh, four segments. Um, we're going to first talk about uh, worker safety models with IAM, and uh, Surat is going to run that session. Uh, we're going to come then to uh, section two, and um, Glenn is going to talk about containerizing uh, software development workloads and uh, deploying them on IEM. We're gonna come back, I'll talk about some open source software and the foundation for the IBM product, which is Open Horizon and uh, the Linux Foundation Edge projects. Um, and then we'll come and we'll, we'll engage you, our audience in a, in a discussion. We're gonna be following the chat. So you're welcome to drop chat in the, in the uh, little sidebar there. And we'll, we'll try to keep eye of that and answer your questions as we go. So um, just to make sure that there's truth in advertising, we are going to show you how we trained a model uh, to detect hard hats. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll, as we'll take you through that. Um, and then uh, throw alerts. Um, we'll deploy that model uh, to edge devices. I've done it actually with my phone and, a, and my laptop and with the Jetson Nano. And uh, as you enter and exit uh, various uh, safety zones, uh, throw alerts and, and warn the supervisor that uh, maybe a worker is not safe. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing my slides and turn it over to Surat, who's gonna share his uh, presentation. We're gonna run a few videos along the way too. Um, John, um, were we not going to do an intro to IEAM? Ah, 
Oh yeah, like, you know what, Glenn? Let's let's so that the audience knows what the products are underneath that. Should we should we do that? Yeah, let's let's uh, let's do a quick introduction uh, to just the product itself. Not too deep. Just we're gonna do a couple of minutes. Yeah, both of five the minutes. product. Okay, great. Okay, so can you see the Edge Application Manager screen? Yes, there we go. Okay, great. Cool. So uh, IBM's Edge Application Manager is our single plane of glass for application management at scale on both Kubernetes clusters and little standalone Linux devices like the ones John was talking about. So uh, it is an Edge native platform, and uh, it even works completely air-gapped from the internet in a factory if you want. And unlike some of our competitors' solutions, this one is not a repurposed cloud solution, and it's not a repurposed IoT solution. We designed it from the get-go as an edge platform. And it's mostly decentralized. Uh, as I mentioned in my intro, it was originally completely decentralized, but we did add a management hub that is very robust under attack. Even if you are able to take over the complete management hub, you can't compel our fully autonomous agents that run on each node um, whether uh, to run your uh, malicious software. Each agent decides independently on the right course of action for their node. We also have a zero touch method that allows you to uh, have take a device that's manufactured with the secure device onboarding or SDO software, if you have that, or if you install it yourself after a manufacture, you can just take the device in the field, connect it to the network and uh, attach power and walk away. And then installation of our software for IBM Edge Application Manager and any de device specific configuration, all of that is fully automated on the device. So it's truly zero touch. It saves a lot of money for customers who want to take uh, their device and have some installer stick it in the field. They don't have to have somebody else also go out and configure it. So our agents can continue to monitor and manage your applications when they're disconnected from the management hub. That's another important feature. And uh, the way that you uh, determine what software runs is to use a mechanism for intent. And you state your intent with something we call policy. And then the agents and the corresponding central components called agbots or agreement robots, they uh, negotiate to make it real on all of your devices and clusters. And we support large numbers of them, tens of thousands of clusters or standalone devices and uh, even small devices like single core x86-64 or ARM64 or even very small ARM32 devices, you know, as tiny as uh, ARM32 v6, like a Pi Zero. And we provide a single pane of glass for managing all of that. And you can use our web browser UI, which is a feature that we add on top of the Open Horizon open source. And you can also use CLI commands and everything is driven by REST APIs. The web browser UI and the CLI commands, they all use the REST APIs under the hood to make things happen. And it's all based upon the Linux Foundation LF Edge project called Open Horizon, so there's no vendor lock-in. So let's review the key points and give you some resources. Uh, I think I'll actually skip over this stuff since we're gonna be talking for a while. And uh, you can get those links uh, after from other sources. So with that, I think we transfer over to Sharat to do his presentation.